how to throw a mad tea party. Recreating one of Alice in Wonderland's most famous adventures is a great theme for all kinds of celebrations. Set the scene with these suggestions. You will need invitations, cups, saucers, and teapots, hats, vintage bottles, a mouse stuffed animal, a clock, a hat cake, cupcakes, finger sandwiches, playing cards, directional signs, and a variety of teas. Optional, white teacups and saucers, and craft paint. Step one, send invitations that include the line, don't be late for a very important date. Ask everyone to wear a whimsical hat. Step two, hit flea markets, yard sales, and thrift stores for interesting teacups and saucers, teapots, hats, and vintage bottles to hold drink me signs. Buy white cups and saucers at a dollar store and paint them in stripes, polka dots, and other colorful patterns. Step three, seat a stuffed mouse at the table as the door mouse. If you can't find a big enough mouse, stick a smaller one in a teapot so its head sticks out. Step four, set the scene. Take the batteries out of a clock to signify that time has stopped and create a looking glass by hanging a mirror on a door that guests must pass through to get to the tea table. Step five, make a hat cake by baking a nine inch round cake and six inch round cake to sit on top of it. Trim it with real ribbon and edible flowers. Bake cupcakes that say eat me on top in icing. Prepare a variety of finger sandwiches with delicate fillings like smoked salmon and cream cheese. Be sure to cut the crusts off. Step six, mismatch the teacups and saucers. Place your hat cake in the center of the table. Make and hang signs that say this way and that way leading to the tea table. Decorate the table and chairs with playing cards. Provide a few whole decks so guests can play card games. Step seven, sit down with your guests and enjoy your tea. Just be careful not to fall down any rabbit holes did you know? Lewis Carroll is a pseudonym for British author Charles Dodson, who wrote Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in 1865. 